Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we have a perfect reason for doing YouTube videos, and that is how to make multiple taskbar buttons automatically switch to the last active window. A little tough to explain. Basically, if you have multiple windows open, you line your mouse over it. You've probably seen this, and you can go between them. You can also press control, click and scroll through the windows. But here's another option. This is great if you have all these different windows open and you want to bounce between one another. It's great for coders, people doing HTML, stuff like that to just quickly jump back and forth. Really neat. So we have to use registry files, download them from Major Geeks. Link is in the video description. Please expand the video description. Click on download now and wait five seconds. Once you have those, extract them to your desktop. And I'm actually going to close this and I'll show you why. In these zip files for these registry tweaks, we have a link to the page. So you can always find a Major Geeks tutorial link. If you need it, open that up and I'll tell you why. You can scroll down here and you can do the changes yourself if you don't want to use the registry file. Here's how to open RegEdit. Here's the key and how to do it. This is one of those cases where actually using the registry file is a little easier. So you've got two registry files. Remove, add. So let's add it. Click yes, yes, okay, as always with registry files. So one problem we got is we have to reboot for these changes to apply. And probably the reason for it is the registry file actually adds a new D word, so we need to le reload the registry. There's probably other ways we could do it, but a reboot's probably worth the effort. So, And then when this comes back up, I can kind of show you how this works. What it's going to do is when you click on it now, and you could still control and scroll you could still line your mouse over it and switch from window to window by sliding your mouse around but what we'll be able to do now is whichever window you had last opened when you click on it it will automatically open that last window so let me show you that all right let's open a couple instances of notepad and hope we did it right you never know there's notepad one more time notepad so we're pretending we have all these windows open we're doing this we're doing that I'm adding in this I'm done with that one I'm in here last edited get it out of my way I'm going somewhere else or else you have a bunch of windows open it's buried somewhere so now you want to jump back to that last open file just click on it you see that so there's that one so basically you can still do this as I mentioned and let's open the one that wasn't open. There you go. And just click it at any point. It'll jump open to the last edited file. Pretty neat, right? So we had some interest on it when we put the video up. And it's just such a tough one to explain because of the name and everything. It's just a, there's no simple way to explain uh, what this is and how it works without doing a video. So happy to have YouTube to be able to show that to you. So once again, follow the link in the description. I will put the link directly to the registry files and to the tutorial if you want to do it yourself whichever is good for you and there you have it subscribe down here blah 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 click like if we helped you out leave a comment we read them all thank you so much see ya